Here we are at Bobby's Barbecue, where they're about to celebrate their one year anniversary on October 26th. Make sure and check that out. Until then, let's find out more about them and how they literally stopped a train in its tracks. That's for real. So let's go in and see what all this smoking is all about. Hey everybody, this is Donald Barber with the J. Michael Manley team at Keller Williams Greenville Upstate and today we're at a very special place that's about to celebrate their one year anniversary coming up right here in the 44 of Fountain Inn on Main Street. We're at Bobby's Barbecue and today we're here with Octavius and Sarah Nelson, the owners of Bobby's Barbecue. They're going to tell us a little bit about their business. And first of all, I'd like to ask, you know, you're not Bobby, you're not Bobby. So tell us uh, exactly the significance and, and the influence of Bobby and your background in the restaurant business as well. All right, first of all, thanks for coming out. It's a true honor for y'all to come out. I'm just humbled by it all. Um, Bobby was my late dad, my late brother. My pops used to have a restaurant, like, you know, kind of like drive-in food, Mondays, it was Monday through Saturday, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. That's what he did. He cooked a lot of stuff, and it was real good. So that's where my cooking side come from. My uh -huh. brother did most of the dinner side. I did most of the short order side. Gotcha. And so that's what I guess where the name came from. Started at 13, washing dishes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, 12, 13, washing dishes, and, um, did it off and on, you know, your pops, y'all bump heads, get out of here, then we come back, yeah. doing that. And then 2010, I made a season to, to like, in memory of them. The pop passed in 08, my brother passed in 09, so okay. that's where we started at right there. And I know they would be proud of that right now as yeah. well. And that means a lot hearing it, because yeah. he always said, like, what's what you're going to be doing? I'm like, no, I ain't going to be doing this. So <laughs> it's cute, man. That's why we named it after them. That's where I get my integrity from and sometimes my strength. That name means a lot on that wall and I want to do them proud. So. so around here in South Carolina and in the Southeast, we're used to more of just pulled pork everything. Can you tell us uh, the different meats that you serve that make your business more unique to, to this area and, and also the state in general? Sure. Uh, we do serve pulled pork here, but like you said, we have a couple different things. We focus more on Texas style barbecue. Um, the main thing with Texas style barbecue and kind of what we're known for is brisket. So that's a big crowd pleaser. We also sell beef ribs, which are huge dinosaur bones. Yeah. <laughs> we call them Flintstone bones. Um, they're humongous. They're pretty cool. Um, the other thing that's really popular in Texas that we've kind of incorporated here is smoked turkey breast. Um, it's one of my favorite things on the menu. People that say they don't like turkey come in and say they love our turkey breast. So yeah. that's definitely something cool to try out. Um, we also do our own sausage in-house. We grind the meat, we stuff the hog casings. Um, it's beef and pork sausage. We've got an original and a jalapeno cheddar. So that's mm -hmm. a little bit different. And then we've also got pork ribs, um, which everybody does, but they're amazing here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we have a little South Carolina oh. flair. And yes. one more thing, we actually sell jackfruit as well, which is for our vegan and vegetarian friends. Okay. Um, it's like a meat substitute option for those that prefer not to have meat. So. I noticed inside you have a, a great variety of different sides. Now, involving the sides, uh, what are your typical choices and do you switch them up on a daily or weekly basis? Yeah, we offer five sides each week. We make all of our sides from scratch. Um, the four that we have every week are cheesy potato casserole. That's my aunt's recipe. It's potatoes, cheese, onions, Ritz crackers on top. It's really gooey gooey. That's kind of our signature side. We get like 200 pounds of potatoes each week to make it. Um, then we've got baked beans, coleslaw, green beans, which are vegan and vegetarian friendly. And then each week um, we rotate our fifth side out. So this week is macaroni and cheese. Next week we will have sweet potato fetch. And the week after that is corn pudding. Earlier, Sarah had mentioned that you do Texas style barbecue here. So we're back here with all the the pits and the smokers and everything. So so tell us a little bit more about the process of how long it takes to smoke your brisket, your beef ribs, uh, your turkeys, all that. What temps you like to put them at? And tell us a little bit more. Well, our temperature we pretty much cook everything is like 275. Sometimes we go up to 300 based on the temperature outside, the weather, the wind, if it's raining, believe it or not, all that stuff matters. Brisket takes anywhere from 10 to 16 hours based on the size and again, the weather. Um, on average, about 12 to 13, sometimes 14 hours. 
Court butts take anywhere from 8 to 9, 10 to max. Beef ribs take about the same amount of time, sometimes less based on the size. Turkeys take anywhere from 3 to 4 hours. So they would say it all varies with the sausage. That's actually a three day process. We, after we pack them and put them in cases, we let them dry in the cooler. Mm -hmm. Then we do it next day, we do a cold smoke <clears throat> to get that color and that firmness we want. Then we do the service cook. Okay. And that's why like it takes a lot of work, but I love sausage a lot. So, and the pork ribs, people say it's about five to six hours. Sometimes it's seven. Again, based on size, and a lot of it just feel. Yeah. So we have those times and temperatures for gauges for like the tolerance, but most of it's just hands on. We have two smokers. We call them Grace and Mercy. That's what we named them. Um, they're from Dripping Spring, Texas. They're Moberg by Sunny Moberg. Um, they decommissioned thousand gallon propane tanks. That's the cooking chamber. So then you add the exhaust and the firebox is 21 feet. So like it's just like old school Texas, like just gotta have the, they all wood. So it's a lot of work, smoking fires and stuff like that. What's the thing of beauty? We use white oak and red oak. So we, we know about the permanent location here, yet you also have another part of the business with your seasonings uh, for, for Bobby's all-purpose seasoning. Tell us more about what types of seasonings you have to offer and some of the places that people can pick them up. So we have an original blend which came first and we have a barbecue rub that we use on all our pretty much our big meats and then we have a citrus blend that we put on our smoked turkeys but you can put it on vegetables and seafood and everything. It's an all-purpose season. It's all natural, low sodium. It's actually healthy and it tastes good. We um, Locally, we have it Lowe's Foods on Woodruff Road at Five Forks. And we have it Lowe's Foods right beside Riverside High on Subaru Road. Mm -hmm. We also have it at um, Whole Foods on Woodruff Road and Whole Foods in Charlotte. But you can go on our website, eatbobbies.com and click on the seasoning tab and they tell you each store we have it in and exactly which blends they carry in each store because not all stores carry all blends. Okay. All right, tell us a little bit about the hours that you're open each day, the, the days of the week that you're open, and also uh, where can we find you online and through social media to learn more about Bobby's Barbecue? All right, we're open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. And you can find us online. Our website is eatbobbies.com. And then we're on Instagram at Bobby's Seasoning and Barbecue. And Facebook, if you just type in Eat Bobby's or go to facebook.com mm -hmm. forward slash Eat Bobby's, you'll find our page. We've learned a lot of great things about Bobby's Barbecue today. Is there anything that we didn't cover that you would like for people to know more about you? Yes, um, right now it's fall and we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. We have Thanksgiving packages available so you don't have to do any of the work. Leave it to us. Um, you can get our to turkey already pre-sliced as well as sides that are made. Um, one thing we like to get out there is that here at Bobby's Barbecue, since it's a, me and my wife doing a mom and pop business, that we just want to create that family community atmosphere. Like we have a sign when you walk in saying, here we all family, and at the bottom of it we say, welcome home, and that's just who we are at our core. Like we're in this together. So we wanna build a strong community and just love on people. You know, that's who we are. Octavius. Yes, sir. Thank you, and Sarah, thank you thank for you. Having, having us out today, learning more about Bobby's Barbecue. And please, come on out. If you haven't tried them here in Fountain Inn, right by the DMV, almost across the street here. Uh, give them a shot. They're so good. They literally stop trains behind them here for, uh, for some pickup orders. And anyway, uh, support a great locally owned business. And like they say, you come in, you're all family here. We'll see you next time.